everybody I'm out in my garden it is close to 8 o'clock it's probably like 745 or whatever so I actually came out to see how everything was doing my pomegranate tree the water was still um, in the container and let me turn this around you see those birds well there's one right now but there's another one um, I came out and I just put netting on my tomato trees I put one big piece on the front and one on the side and I'm gonna have to put some more this weekend um, and I'll have to pin this down right here it's getting kind of late because these little birds these are baby birds and they have been sitting in my tomato plants yep that is right sitting in my tomato plants the reason why I have a bird bath, let me turn this around. Just look at them, just flying around. They're so happy. Okay, so the reason why um, I have a bird bath is because I read somewhere, sorry flies, that birds actually don't want to eat your tomatoes. They actually want to get the, the water out of them. And so they'll sit here and they'll pick holes in, um, in your tomatoes. At first it started off with just one bird, then it started off with another one. So I wet the baby bird and he just looked at me. And so I pointed my hose at him and came towards him and he flew off. So I was gonna wait to this weekend to put netting up. I said I better do it now because it's only Wednesday. By the time Saturday hits, I'm gonna start seeing hose in my tomatoes. And I don't want that. I understand that food is food. It ain't just human food, it's for animals. But you know, you work hard in your garden and I'm like, go somewhere else they want to sit in the corn go sit in the corn but leave my leave my tomatoes alone so there's something else i wanted to show you as you can see i have lots of tomatoes i check my tomatoes for um ooh, oh sorry i didn't turn the camera around so you see i have lots of tomatoes let me move this back and this one's getting bigger and so i check them for bottom you know that bottom rot, rot and they're doing they're doing pretty good. So um, what I do is I take, when I put the netting on, I take these and I, and I smush the netting down into the, into the soil. And since I have the um, tomato cages up, the netting just fits right over the cages um, perfectly. My mom's like, well, can't they swoop up in there? I'm pretty sure they could but it makes it a little harder on them and I still have to do this part um, right here. I always keep a lot of netting and then when the season is over, I take the netting off, I fold it up and I put it up because this stuff costs too much money. So I'm gonna walk this way by the cherry tomatoes. And let me show you, I wouldn't be surprised if I see a bird sorry everything is so loud wouldn't so the birds like to come and just perch in here like perch in there and perch over there and you see my husky sorry my husky tomato plants have a lot of tomatoes on them and so yeah they will be they could pick at them if they want to so i i gotta protect my food um sunflowers are growing every day the zinnias are in the corners in the front the corn is still growing the wildflowers are really growing and look at the snapdragon over here it's looking beautiful I just love that I actually saw lots of bees in my front yard in the lavender so that's good um, my onions I decided not to water them today I was watching M.I. Gardner and he stated for about a week to actually don't water your onions and start um, seeing if you can kind of pull those necks to the side because to me these onions are well overdue um, another thing i was going to do was cut a couple of eggplants to give the plant more energy for more healthy eggplants but i had to deal with an aphid infestation today you guys um, on some of my pepper plants this one i almost cut it all off Got my neem oil, there were aphids, look right here, all on the bottom of the leaves. 
and so I really had to deal with that and put stakes on the pepper plants and everything so I had to deal with that before watering anything um, then I saw this around then I saw the birds so I had to kind of I went ahead finished watering finish finished watering my garden and then opened my um, my shed over there the small one sorry all these flies the small one and took out my netting let me show you the small shed over here and then took out my netting this is my netting and it just folds up look how long that is and I just cut it I, un I unfold it and I cut it and I'm going to actually oh it's falling apart I'm going to actually I'm gonna actually leave it out and sit it on the table but let me show you that's what it looks like that's the netting I got like two big old um, containers of netting last year put it on my tomatoes and everything I this is old netting on my blueberries that I have from last year like I said I don't throw it away because those birds will, at, will attack it look at that you guys look at that web that's what I mean about spiders in my yard that's crazy but I did see something good and let me show you because as you can see it's getting darker and I'll be going in the house That is a squash flower, you guys. My first one, full on flower. Let's see if it gets, it looked like it may have been pollinated. Let's get closer. It may have been pollinated. And I'm pretty sure there's others in there that I can't see, but yeah. Stuff is growing, it's growing good. Um, I'm happy about that. Let's just keep it growing well and trying to protect it today is like the first day and and i think a few days i had to really come out and um, do some protection or maintenance or anything in my garden so hopefully the netting that i put out there will keep the birds at bay for a little while but i have to put it on um, a little bit better and also put some on the cherry tomatoes because the little ones they like to just sit and perch right up in there and um, those tomatoes are everything's growing good so I don't want them destroying them let me show you the pomegranate let me come over here you guys will notice I sweep this patio every day because my shoes get it dirty but anyway, I don't have the light on. It's getting darker. I had the pomegranate tree sitting in here with water. When I came home from work, it was still full of water. So I took it out. And I'm just going to let it chill and dry out tonight. These leaves are, are healthy. Something just tried to fly in my eye. And these are basically kind of dead. And that's another reason why I took it out of the water. So I think I'm going to just kind of trim that off. And But these are pretty and, and healthy. Okay, so I'm going to turn this back around. Wow, that was a almost about an eight-minute video. Okay, sorry about that. But I just wanted you guys to see what's going on. And I know my video was shaky all over the place. But now I have to go ahead, close up my shed, put, a, put this netting over here. And then um, I'm in the house for the evening, you guys. Okay, so as I always say, find peace within yourself. And please be peaceable with others. And I love you all and have a good evening. Today is Wednesday, January 16th. Okay, bye.